four, three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to Greenwich Village in 1960 at the height of the traditional folk music revival. It was an incredible time to be involved in the music scene in those days. You could hear urgent, exciting new music in every club and on every street corner. These were the poets of a generation, the song poets of a generation. Many of these artists uh, with whom I worked went on to have in exciting, incredible careers and still enjoy those careers in folk, blues, rock and roll. Recently, I had the opportunity to work and play with a number of those old friends. In a special concert, there was Rick Danko, Levon Helm, and Richard Manuel from the band. There was Roger McGuinn, uh, formerly of The Birds. There was John Sebastian, formerly of The Loving Spoonful. And my old friend Jesse Colin Young, formerly of The Young, the young Bloods. Uh, the concert was done for an audience of young people, many of whom weren't even born when some of these songs were first written and performed, I should say. It didn't seem to matter one bit because they loved it. And that's because the music is timeless and speaks as eloquently today as it did then. They loved it, and I'm sure you will too. Yeah, very nice for a first time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Carry up speed, so in five, four, three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the traditional folk music revival, and it was an incredible time to be around the music scene at that time. You could hear urgent, new, exciting music in every club and on every street corner. These were the song poets of a generation. Many of these people went on to have careers like me, uh, have, enjoying the music that we were expressing such as folk, rock, blues, and uh, rock and roll. Recently, I had the opportunity to get together and play music with a number of these old friends. In a special, special concert, there was Rick Danko, and uh, Levon Helm, and Richard Manuel from the band. There was Roger McGuinn, formerly of the Birds, and there was John Sebastian, formerly of the Loving Spoonfuls, other old friends, and there was also Jesse Colin Young, formerly of the Young Bloods. Now this concert was done for an audience of young people that many of them couldn't have been born even when these songs were written or sung by many of us, uh, and it didn't seem to matter one bit to them. They love the music because the music itself is timeless. And it speaks as eloquently today as it did then. I can say that. They loved it, and I think you'll love it too. It's timeless, special. Okay. That nice. let's, um, let's just go right into another one. Okay. Keep rolling. Yeah. Okay. Turn it backwards. That's really nice, Richie. It's very conversational. Okay. Is that the right avenue? I mean, is it is it okay to be? Yes, it's very much. It's exactly what I wanted. Okay. To be try and emotional and conversational is exactly what you're doing. Okay. Getting. Okay, Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the traditional folk music revival. It was an incredible time to be in the music scene at that, in those days. It was incredible. You could hear exciting, new, urgent music uh, in every club, coffee house, even on the street corners. It was great. There were songs, these 
people who sang the songs at that time were the song poets of a generation. Many of the artists that I started out with uh, went on to have remarkable careers and still enjoy those careers in folk music, blues, rock and roll. And recently I had the opportunity to play uh, music with a number of these old friends again in a special concert. There was Rick Danko, Levon Helm, and Richard Manuel from the band. There was Roger McGuinn, formerly of the Birds. There was John Sebastian, old friend, formerly of the uh, uh, Loving Spoonful. And another old friend, Jesse Colin Young, formerly of the Youngbloods. Good guys. The concert was done in front of an audience that I'm sure many of whom weren't born when these songs were written or even sung by many of us. Somehow, that didn't seem to matter one bit. There's a reason for that. The music is timeless. And it speaks as eloquently today as it did then. This was a special concert. They loved it, and I think you'll love it too. It was really nice. Can we do one more? Sure. Yeah, good, because I think you're really just now relaxing. Can you move it closer to the camera a bit, even? Okay. Okay, and in five, four, three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960, at the height of the traditional folk music revival. It was an incredible time to be in on the music scene in those days. You could hear exciting new, urgent music, new music, in every club, coffee house, and on almost every corner. These were the song poets of a generation. Artists uh, that I sung with back then and shared the stage with uh, went on to have great careers and very exciting careers like myself uh, at a time uh, then, which is still around. Uh, I'm sorry, I blew that one. Let's start, okay. Let's start from the top. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you were right to start to leave it there a bit. I'll, I'll slow down, but you, but it was okay. I was, <coughs> I think I got it better. I'll just, okay. I gotta relax here. That's all. I got. <laughs> okay, in five, four, three, two, one. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the traditional folk music revival, and it was a really incredible time to be around on the music scene. You could hear exciting, new, and urgent music in every uh, club, coffee house, even on every street corner. These were the song poets of a generation. and. Uh, Many of those guys went on to have exciting and remarkable careers in folk, blues, and rock and roll. And recently I had the opportunity to play with a number of these old friends in a very, very special concert. There was Rick Danko, Levon Helm, and Richard Manuel from the band. There was Roger McGuinn, formerly of the Birds. There was John Sebastian, formerly of the Loving Spoonful, and there was even Jesse Colin Young formerly of the young, blo young Bloods, I'm sorry. The concert was done for an audience that I'm sure many of whom weren't born when the songs were written or performed. It didn't seem to matter one bit. There's a reason for that. The music is timeless. And it speaks as eloquently today as it did then. They loved it, and I'm sure you will too. What part was that? Yeah. I uh, the name's the next with the uh, trip over to name. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Ah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. Ah. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Gonna have muscles. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, settle down. 
down in five, four, three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the tra traditional folk music uh, revival. Uh, should we start again? I'm yes, sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. I'll just say folk music revival, it's okay. no problem. Okay, five, four, three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the folk music revival. It was an incredible time to be around the music scene. You could hear new, exciting, urgent music in every club, coffee house, and on every corner. Uh, all of these people who sang uh, at that time were the poets of a generation. Sorry. Okay, no uh, problem. Yeah, yeah. I got to slow down yeah. in front. <laughs> in front, okay. Hi, this is Rich. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York City's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the folk music revival. It was an incredible time to be around the music scene. You could hear exciting, urgent, new music in every club, coffee house, on every street corner. These were the song poets of a generation, many of whom I started out with. I'm sorry. Ah. 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 Now I'm gonna. I'm falling apart. Okay. <laughs> From uh, fair to uh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York City's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the folk music revival. It was a really incredible time to be involved in the music scene at that time. You could hear exciting, urgent, new music in every club, coffee house. And these were the song poets of a generation. Many of the artists went on to have remarkable careers in folk, blues, rock and roll. And recently, I had the opportunity to play a number. Oh, God. Let's take a second. Okay, stop there. Yep. I was doing okay. <laughs> uh, Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960, at the height of the traditional folk music revival. It was a really incredible time to be involved in the music scene. You could hear exciting, urgent new music in every club, coffee house, and on every street corner. These were the song poets of a generation. Many of the artists uh, with whom I worked with in those days, went on to have remarkable careers in blues, folk music, and rock and roll. Recently, I had the opportunity to play with a number of those old friends. And a special... Uh, oh, God. Okay. Oh, very nice. Uh, 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 Thank you very much. Uh, uh, okay, let's just go, right? Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in about 1960. It was at the height of the traditional folk music revival. It was an incredible time to be involved in the music scene in those days. You could hear urgent, exciting new music in every club, coffee house, even on the street corners. These were the song poets of a generation. Real. Many of these artists went on to have remarkable careers in folk, blues, rock and roll, 
And recently I had the opportunity to play with a number of those old friends. A special concert, very special. There was Rick Danko and Levon Helm and Richard Manuel from the band. There was Roger McGuinn, formerly of The Birds, John Sebastian, formerly of The Loving Spoonful, and another old friend, Jesse Colin Young, formerly of The Young Bloods. The concert was done for an audience of young people, many of whom weren't born at the time when the songs were written or performed. It didn't seem to matter one bit to them. There's a reason. The music is timeless. It speaks as eloquently today as it did then. They loved it, and I'm sure you will too. Sure. I'm, I'm, you know, once I start going, it's yeah. better to just keep going. <laughs> okay. I'm Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in about 1960, at the height of the folk music revival. It was an incredible time to be involved in the music scene. You could hear exciting, urgent new music in every club, coffee house, even on the street corners. These were the song poets of a generation, and many of those artists went on to have remarkable careers and still enjoy them careers. Ah. Sorry. Ah. And five, four, three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the folk music revival. It was an incredible time to be involved in the music scene. You could hear exciting, urgent new music, in every club, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Stop. Oh. Siren. Oh, okay. Okay. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the traditional folk music revival, and it was a really incredible time to uh, be involved in the music scene. You could hear exciting, I'm sorry, it's broken up, I'm sorry. <clears throat> no, 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 it was me, because I didn't look, and I should have, I should have given it at least, instead of trying not to look too much. You know. Okay, okay. It makes me too stiff anyway. Four, three, two, one. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in 1960. It was at the height of the folk music revival, and it was a really incredible time to be involved in the music scene. You could hear exciting, urgent new music in every club, coffee house, even on the street corners. These were the poets of a generation. Many of those artists went on to have remarkable careers in folk music, blues, rock and roll, and I recently had the opportunity to play with a number of my old friends, old friends, in a special concert. There was Rick Danko and Levon Helm and Richard Manuel from the band. There was Roger McGuinn, formerly of The Birds. There was John Sebastian, formerly of The Loving Spoonful. And there was Jesse Colin Young, formerly of The Young Bloods. And the concert was done very specially for an audience of young people, many of whom were not even born when the songs were written or performed. You know what? It didn't seem to matter one bit to those young people. It's because the music is timeless. It speaks now, today, as eloquently as it did then. They loved it, and I think you'll love it too. Okay. It was very nice. Yeah, it was very nice. Um, the only 
Actually, I'd like to do one more. Okay. Written and performed. First written and performed. Okay. All right. Wow, that's a biggie. Okay. Yes, B. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Action. Hi, this is Richie Havens. And when I first came to New York's Greenwich Village, it was about 1960. I'll, I'll do it again. Three, two, one, action. Hi, this is Richie Havens. And when I first came to New York's Greenwich Village, it was about 1960. It was at the height of the traditional folk music revival. It was a really incredible time to be involved in the music scene. You could hear exciting, urgent new music in every club, coffee house, and even on all the street corners. These were the song poets of a generation. Many of those artists went on to have remarkable careers in blues music, folk music, rock and roll. And recently I had the opportunity to play with a couple of old friends again in a very, very special concert. There was Rick Danko and Levon Helm and Richard Manuel of the band. Uh, Roger McGuinn, formerly of The Birds, and uh, John Sebastian, formerly of The Loving Spoonful, and also Jesse Colleen, uh, Jesse Colleen. Yeah. <laughs> One more time, I'm sorry. This time is gonna, I'm gonna get a, a better, <laughs> oh God. Get up, uh, relax. Yes, up. Yes, yeah, that is the key. <laughs> if you might just pull it a tiny bit closer, I think that's making me a little bit nervous in terms of looking away. Just that the, 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 uh, if the edge of that, that right edge could be closer to the lens. Yeah, even a little closer, there's, there's a room. Okay, okay, as close as you can get, uh, that's all. Okay, okay, that's... Yes, thank you. Okay, and five, four, three, two, one. Action. Hi, this is Richie Havens, and I first came to New York's Greenwich Village in about 1960, at the height of the folk music revival. It was an incredible time to be involved in the music scene. Uh, you could hear exciting, urgent new music in every club, coffee house, and even on every street corner. These were the song poets of a generation. Many of those artists went on to have remarkable careers exciting careers in rock and roll, blues, and folk music. Recently, I had the opportunity to play with a number of my old friends in a very, very special concert. There was Rick Danko and Levon Helm and Richard Manuel uh, of the band, Roger McGuinn, formerly of The Birds. There was John Sebastian, formerly of The Loving Spoonful, and uh, Jesse Colin Young, formerly of The Young Bloods. And the concert was done for an audience of young people many of whom weren't born when these songs were first written or performed. And you know, somehow it didn't really matter one bit. There's a reason. The music is timeless. It speaks today as eloquently as it did then. They loved it, and I'm sure you will too.